tries it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new edition of DSP Tries It. Autumn is here. It's been here for about a month now uh, in Washington State. And typically one of the foods that Americans think about eating in the autumn is turkey. Uh, mostly because we have Thanksgiving. Our national Thanksgiving is held at the end of November. Um, so, today, quite honestly, I was going to Arby's not to get what I'm about to show you in this episode of DSP Tries It. I was going because I was intrigued. I heard there was a venison sandwich that they were selling. And I have never had venison in my life. That's deer meat, if you're not aware. Um, and I saw a sign the other day that said it's available starting October 21st. Today's October 22nd. So I went over there and they said, we don't have it. I said, what do you mean? It's been one day. And they said, we only had enough for one day and there's no restocking. It was like a one-time thing. Um, I guess it was a test nationwide to see if people would like it. And if they did, they might bring it back, but that's it. So I was kind of disappointed, but then I looked and on the menu, they had two new sandwiches, both of something that I never thought, again, I would see at fast food, deep fried turkey. Okay, but I'm assuming this is a sliced turkey that they throw into a deep fryer. I don't know what that's gonna taste like because I've never had deep fried turkey in my entire life, okay? Now they have two variations. One is kind of a more standard club sandwich where you get lettuce, tomato, mayo, bacon with the deep fried turkey. This is the Cajun style. Apparently this has Cajun spices, a special sauce, and those fried onion, uh, you know, things. I forget what they even call them, onion, God, there's a name for them. Not onion crisps, there's an actual name for them. Uh, so I opted to get the Cajun. And I'm curious to see what this is going to be like. Like I said, I've never gotten any kind of deep fried turkey or had deep fried turkey in my life. Now, the, the pricing for the club combo, it's actually more expensive than the Cajun. The club combo, I believe, was like $7.89 for the small combo. This one was like $7.39, I believe. Um, keep in mind that pricing varies depending on your region. My region is a more expensive region, but pretty cool. You know, for seven bucks, you get a unique kind of a sandwich, right, with the combo. So there's my curly fries and there's my, my soda that I got with the combo. So let's take a look at it. Let's see exactly what it ent and, uh, entails. And then we'll give it a taste. Let's see here. So it's on their standard Arby's uh, bun. I don't know exactly what they call that bun. So here's what it looks like. Look at that. Interesting. Like I said, slices of turkey that I guess they were deep fried. We're going to dissect this sandwich in just a moment. Let's take the top off. So it's got some kind of a sauce. I have no idea what that sauce is. Also, you can see all the Cajun seasonings that they put on top of the turkey, which is quite nice. Um, it looks like three relatively thick slices of turkey. Is it as much turkey as you would normally get if you got a regular turkey sandwich at Arby's? I'm not sure, because it does seem like it's more, it's thicker cut and more condensed. It's not the thin cut pieces that they typically put on the turkey sandwich. So I don't know, I, I can't answer that. What I'm actually gonna do is take some of these onion things that fell off and try to put them onto the sandwich. So I actually get them in each bite rather than them just being sitting on the sides of the sandwich here. There we go, okay. And then I believe on the bottom is lettuce and tomato. And I don't know if there's cheese. I don't think so. I don't think there's any kind of cheese. I would love to flip this, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Hold on. Because they, they do use that shredded lettuce. See that? It looks like there's some kind of sauce on the bottom as well. And I'm not sure if it's the same sauce that's on the top or not. And two slices of tomato, which is nice because a lot of places only give you one slice of tomato in this day and age. I know. Ridiculous, right? You used to go to a restaurant and get nice, you know, lettuce, tomato, onion, everything. Now they barely give you one tomato. All right. So here it is. The deep fried Cajun turkey sandwich from Arby's. I'm gonna give it a bite and let you know what I think. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. It definitely tastes different from the regular turkey, that's for sure. The regular turkey at Arby's typically is warm and juicy, but has a pretty generic turkey flavor. I got a little bit of tang from whatever this is at the bottom, maybe mayo, with the acidity of the tomato, the saltiness of the turkey. I didn't really taste too much Cajun, honestly. Maybe because all the Cajun seasonings are mostly on the top. Let me take another bite here. Hmm. I can definitely tell you this. The mouthfuls of turkey feel more substantial. Normally, like I said, when you get a turkey sandwich at Arby's, it's, it's thin cut until you bite into it and it feels like you're gonna get a mouthful of turkey and half the time you get a mouthful of air. Uh, I'm not getting that from this sandwich and that's a good thing. Every bite I'm getting a hearty mouthful of turkey. It is juicy. Look, I mean, you can see, look, there's actually juices coming out of the turkey and there's sauce on top, pretty good. Um, however, once again, I'll be honest, it's the turkey's tasting good, but I'm not getting an overwhelming Cajun flavor. So let me take another bite. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest here. The Cajun seasonings must be really mild because I've had much more, uh, I've had Cajun dishes that have had much more of a kick. This has almost no kick. I've got a tiny bit of heat in the back of my throat right now, but I almost can't taste it at all. Mostly I'm just tasting turkey, which is fine. The turkey is delicious. Um, I'm certainly not complaining. I can tell you on the bottom, that's definitely, it's some kind of mayo with the, with the, the lettuce and tomato. On top, it's a, some kind of a, a savory sauce. It might even have a little bit of a tang to it. I can't really tell. Uh, mostly because the sauce is on the top of the sandwich and everything here is, you know, the turkey is mostly the, the hero of the sandwich. It's not bad. Am I blown away? No, I was actually, honestly, I was expecting way more Cajun flavor. I thought it was going to be like overwhelming Cajun taste and really it's not. This probably isn't too far off from the taste of the club. Probably the only difference would be the club would have none of the onions on top, 
but instead the club would have the bacon, right? So if you like turkey with bacon, go for the club. If not, go for this one. All right, I'm gonna give it another bite here. I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping maybe the further I get to the middle, maybe I'll get more Cajun seasoning. I don't know. No, not really. It really is a mild sandwich. I'm very surprised. I thought it would be spicy. It's not. It's mild. So if you like mild sandwiches, go for the Cajun. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It's something different. It's not the normal presentation of turkey you would expect from fast food. It's more dense. And in fact, I'll be honest, I'm holding it. It's actually feeling like a heavy burger with the density of it because it's those three thick, thick slices of turkey versus the thin cut slices. Let me take one more bite and I'll give you my verdict. Okay. I've eaten about a third of it now. So I guess I can sufficiently give you my verdict here. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna put it down in the top half so that way I don't put it down and it sogs up because it'll absorb all the juices of the sauce or anything. So, is it bad? No. Is it good? It's okay. It's kind of middle of the road for me. I'm not blown away. At the same time, I'm not, you know, hating it. It's something different. I wish it had more heat and I wish it had more Cajun flavor. Even now, tasting my mouth, if, you, if this were true Cajun, I'd have the Cajun flavors in my mouth as an aftertaste. I don't. All I have is like the, the little bit of the saltiness of the turkey, the savoriness of the turkey, and that's it. Um, I don't know at all if the onion crisps at top and the, the sauce at top add anything to it, because I'll be honest with you, really all I taste is the lettuce, the tomato, the kind of tangy mayo, or whatever it is at the bottom, and the turkey. That's all I'm tasting. I'm not tasting anything from the top of the sandwich, mostly because the way that they've stacked it, when you bottom load a sandwich with lettuce and tomato, typically that's going to end up being an overwhelming flavor of the sandwich. That's why if you go to any burger joint, typically the lettuce and tomato are usually on top of the sandwich. So honestly, I think the construction of the sandwich is flawed. I think what they should have done is put maybe Cajun, the Cajun sauce or whatever on the bottom, okay? And even the onion things on the bottom and the lettuce and tomato on top, then you would have maybe gotten more Cajun flavor. But by the time you get to it, I don't taste it. It's all negated. And again, no heat. So pretty disappointed, honestly, for Cajun, but for a different kind of sandwich from Arby's, it's not bad. I'm gonna give the Arby's deep fried Cajun sandwich a three out of five. Not bad, not good, kind of middle of the road. Definitely could have used some improvements. Um, if you flipped, the, like I said, flipping the, the stacking and more Cajun or stronger Cajun seasoning would have been better. But for what it is, it's not bad and it's something different for the holiday regional, you know, timing. So three out of five for me for the sandwich. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next time.